Next layer. What do we got here now? That's interesting. Let's go high. And then we'll turn that down. That's really loud. We just want that to be sort of a background-ish, echoey pad, if you will. That middle note doesn't sound right. It's not. And that last one here, we'll bring that down to... If it's too hard to hear it, or you want to just solo that out, so you can hear how just that sounds without everything else, you can solo and mute layers accordingly. So I can mute the first couple and just have these three going. Or I can start bringing the beat in one at a time. Everything's muted. So we'll undo all that. And now if I just wanted to solo one out, I don't want to play with all the muting and stuff. All right, I'm on layer seven. Solo. That's all I'm going to hear. Control E, when you have a bar selected, Control E is your shortcut to get into the panel, either on keys or on drums. That's the shortcut that's not listed anywhere. Oh, actually, it's right there. Control E to open bars. So select the bar, Control E, you're in there. Um, no, actually, I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to unsolo it, and I'm going to make another layer. This time we'll go with maybe a trumpet, maybe a guitar. Not too big, not too full. <laughs> Let's try that. As of channel 9, they're blank, so we only preload the first 8, so it doesn't eat up too much of your CPU right away. Click on the little triangle on the left, pick drums or keys, whatever you want. I want more keys right now. I'm going to go to keys. I'm going to draw my bar now that I can. You'll notice the color variations. If you're on a drum track, it'll do the yellowy-orange. If you're on a key track, it'll do the grays. This time, you'll notice that we've also preloaded this panel with drum sounds and some voxes and I'll show you why we did that and just use a random snare It'll just sound like a little drum roll down and up. And it's not going to be repeated everywhere. It's just going to be on our final little bar groups before the build up and the next drop. It'll drop it in nicely. So you'll hear something like. <laughs> kind of hard to do with all the other layers going on. So let's solo that out. Let you hear the roll. <laughs> all right. I can keep going here, but I'm going to stick to nine layers. I think that's good enough. I'm using a nice high BPM. I'm looping properly, finally. Everything sounds nice. The volumes are sticking both on this mixer and inside the panels. Cool. Let's grow our bar count. We'll go right to, I don't know, 64. Let's go nice and big. No waiting. 
No sounds interrupting, no calculating. It's just nice and fast and improved. So now what I was saying, I can now grab one, hold down control instead of shift this time, two, three, four. Now I hold down shift. I can copy all four over. I can keep going, one, two, three, four. Copy those guys over, say a few times. Cool, then as of there, you know what? Now nah, that's too much. I want to erase a couple. Cool. Maybe those two as well. Cool. Sorry, I'm saying cool a lot. I'm trying to picture, picture myself in your shoes going through this, either as a new user or one that's kind of been through our world and has been frustrated with us with the bugs. We finally fixed them. Fixed them. All right, so we'll copy those over a few times. As you can see, I kind of figure out where I want to space them and how, and then I can just dra drag random loops. I'm being extremely random here for the sake of time and for the sake of just showing you guys the possibilities with DubTurbo uh, without having to know too much or be too, too, too creative with research first on melodies and all that. It doesn't take all that much. Screw it. Let's just go right to the end here. Okay, so we have our dips. We have our change-ups. This is where it gets interesting with other DAWs because now I can create a lot of variations and then put them into another DAW and chop up my little bits, turn those into my choruses, verses, intros, outros, ad-libs, bridges, and all that. All right, so same thing down here. Maybe what I want to do is change up some of these on the second part. So let's go into each one and do a change up. In fact, for the bass, let's just get rid of that. That one. Okay, we're going to keep those low on the second one there. This. Instead, we're going to go high. I kind of want you guys to see all this. Okay, we don't have to change that because that's not going to be used too often. In fact, let's space those out now. Say I only want them in once every 8 to 16. There we go. All right, so now these, hold down Control, select them all, hold down Shift, start copying, and then let's say that's my chorus, and for my verses, I only want those first two layers in there. Boom. And then I grab my chorus again. I'm kind of visualizing what the sound the song and the sound might sound like. Whoops. Whoops. I let go too early, sorry. Hold down shift. Boom. And then I can just keep going here instead of having to redo it again. Okay, so now we'll just select all these guys. Uh, because they're the same, I only really needed to grab any group of four even so I can just do this another thing I'll point out is for you parents out there or anyone thinking of getting this for somebody else the person using it inadvertently through making music they're learning quite a bit not just music they're learning their brain is being worked tremendously they're learning math especially because they're dividing a lot and they're multiplying a lot and they're copying bars and they're figuring out structure of beats and they're figuring out structures of songs, intros, outros, choruses, verses, how everything works. A lot of analysis and a lot of technical thinking and brain power goes into this. So your kid's learning a lot of stuff. Problem solving, maths, projecting how the beat might sound and knowing where and what sequence it should go in. Sequencing, thought process. Um, your, your kid's learning through a very fun app or you yourself, if you're looking at this, looking to buy it for yourself. I'm not trying to dumb it down either. Music production is very much sort of aimed around the maths, the sciences, the arts, all, all mixed left brain and right brain together. 
And that's important for beat production and art of any kind. If you can do a good mixture of left brain and right brain, even though the right brain is more focused on the creative, the left brain still needs to be active and in beat production, you learn a lot of it. I'm babbling. I'm going to shut up now that you guys hear this. 64 bar count beat made it in no time, although I babbled a lot and explained a lot. Tried to go through the app real quick. Uh, the few things that I haven't talked about that I w might have missed is these were available on the previous kit but not on the keyboard. And it just scrolls one at a time. If you don't want to go into a bar and open it up and pick something, you can just scroll one at a time while you're on a key layer or then if you're on a drum layer over here left and right. Okay, let's press play and see what happened here with our creative little spurt of copying and pasting bars. What's the matter? 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 What's the mat